Welcome back. So what do you think of when you hear the word Thanksgiving? Maybe you think of pie or turkey. Turkey, my favorite. Or mashed potatoes and gravy. Or maybe you think about watching football in front of the TV. Oh, touchdown! Or family get-togethers. But did you know that Thanksgiving is much, much more than that? Join us today as we learn more about giving thanks and how we can make it Thanksgiving every day. We've all spent time during the Thanksgiving season giving thanks for things like food and clothes and friends or even our pet Fluffy. Good Fluffy. But how many times do we stop to thank God for who he is and all he has done? In the Bible, in James 1.17, it says, Every good and perfect gift is from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. Father of the heavenly lights is another name for God because he created the lights in the sky like the sun and the moon. Here we see that all good things come from God. We also see a quality of God that he never changes. Many other places in the Bible tell us of God's other qualities, his attributes. We've studied many of them in our lessons. We learn that God is our creator, that he's good, that he's faithful. We can count on him 100%, that he's trustworthy. We can trust him all the time. We learn that he's a healer. He can do miracles. He always keeps his promises and his love never fails. All of these qualities describe God. They tell who he is and he is amazing. So we should give him thanks and praise for who he is. The Bible says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. We give God thanks for who he is. But we should also give God thanks for all that he's done. Many people in the Bible thanked God for what he did for them. Like King David, Daniel, King Jehoshaphat, even Jesus thanked God, his heavenly father. So do you take time to remember what God has done for you? I never want to forget what God has done for me. So I keep a book, a book of thanks. In this book, I've recorded all the times when God protected me, helped me when I was lost, healed me, and so much more. This book helps me to remember what God has done in my life so that I can thank him. Of course, the most important thing that God has done for us is to send his son Jesus to die for us. He conquered sin and death so that we who believe in him can one day be with him in heaven. So take time to thank God for who he is and for all he has done in your life. Thankfulness is powerful. If we live life with a thankful heart, it really changes the way we see things. But most importantly, it pleases God. We should thank God for who he is and all he has done. But we don't just thank God on Thanksgiving. We should thank him every day. Every day should be Thanksgiving. Uh, not for the food, Chris, just the thanks. The Bible says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16-18 God says we should give him thanks in all circumstances, in good times, in bad times, in any and every situation. So as you go about your day, give God thanks. 
appreciate who he is and all that he does. Let's pray together now. Dear God, thank you for this lesson and thank you for the Bible, your holy word. You teach us so much from the Bible. God, we want to pray today and ask you to help us have thankful and grateful hearts, not to focus on what we don't have, but on what we do have and to appreciate it. And help us, God, most of all, to appreciate you, who you are and all you've done especially the most amazing thing you did for us, which was to send your son, Jesus. God, we ask that you help us to make every day thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You know, one way we can thank God is through song. Let's sing together now. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be I want to be I want to be I like to think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in So how about you? Are you thankful and grateful? Don't be a turkey. Give, Give God, God thanks every day. day.